Hi, and welcome to Avery's Bee Movie. So I want to talk about how we get from bees and flowers to bottles of honey. Um, and to do that, um, Avery's been a big help with me. She'll come out to the hive and work with me. Here's she and I getting ready to go into the hives. As we create a new hive is to catch a swarm. This is a swarm that looked like it was a bear hanging from a tree. This was over at a friend's house. And she called me one morning, said she had a swarm. I went over there with a box in my suit. And this hive shown is about 30,000 bees. In the summertime, it'll get up to about 50,000. But you can see I got the box and I started, and I started scooping the bees in with my hands. My friend um, had suggested I could do it without uh, a jacket or gloves. And I wasn't about to do it that way. And this took about, oh, less than 10 minutes to get everything into the hive or into the box so that I could take it to a new hive. I placed them into this three-layered hive. So the hive is composed of various layers. Those layers are called supers. So you can see on the, the lower hive here, uh, that's three supers. And what's within those supers are frames, and they're 10 frames each. And you can see this is one of those. This is how it comes originally. It's a plastic base with an imprint so that the bees can begin to lay wax on that. So that's, that's what you first put in. And then what the bees do <clears throat> is they build out the wax. This one's a little old. It's a little beat up, but they'd clean this up if I put this in. And you can see what it looks like when it's built up like that. The hive, the lower two supers are where the queen lays her brood. And then if you look at this layer right here, see that thing right there, that little thing right there? That's called a queen excluder. And the queen excluder looks like this. This one's got a little bit of wax on it. Let's see, it's something that you put on top of a layer. And what happens is the workers can get up, but the queen can't. So on this hive down here, the brood is in the lower two, and then the workers will come up and begin to lay honey in here. And so when you harvest the honey, we're taking the honey, not from the entire thing, because there'll be brood and honey down here, but we're only taking the honey from this layer right here. This is the hive that we caught last week. It's in there. Oh, there we are. So, the queen made it over. You can see all this is newly laid brood by the queen. Some of it's still uncapped. Let's have a look and see if we can find the queen. I don't see her. On that side. On this side, yep, this is in good shape here. Once again, you see the brood pattern. It becomes almost like a big oval. Lots of um, larvae in there, which is good. That and here's a shot of Avery when she came into the hive with me. We pulled out many frames. We were looking for the queen, which we found, and she actually touched a few of the bees. Meanwhile, back on the box with the swarm of bees, one of the things I have to be careful of is that the bees will come up, come and sit on my back, um, or in this case, a little bit lower than my back, And uh, but I'm very fortunate because I had no stings that day. So you saw what the frame looked like with brood. Well, this is it with honey, and here's some lighter spring honey. You contrast the light and the dark. And then when we have all those frames, this is what it looks like. This is Avery's dad, Ned, with uh, what's about 450 pounds of honey plus equipment. So we take it and down to the garage. This is from my friend Mike getting ready to decap the honey. In the decapping process, you take an electric hot knife and you run it along the um, frame and you're basically trying to make sure that you leave as much honey in there as possible I you take about an eighth of an inch of the wax off the top, and then we do recover some of that later on. And then eventually um, it'll look like something like this. It's glistening, and uh, that's this frame itself probably weighed about eight pounds. 
And then after we centrifuge it, we filter it through a double filter. Here's a close-up of that. And you can see that it has a lot of, a uh, little bit of wax in there, probably a little bit of bees too. And uh, this is all filtered out. It's 100% natural honey. And we take it from those large containers and put it into bottles. And I'm hoping, Avery, that you'll come back and help me again.